Hey Golf Fanatics, I'm Erica Larkin, Director of Instruction at the club at Creighton Farms. And today I wanna to talk to you about swing plane with your driver. So swing plane is kind of a golfy term, right? People get a little confused when they start to hear some of this vernacular. So what do we really mean when we say swing plane? If you can picture the lie angle of the club in space and imagine that that is the angle of the circle that we are ultimately creating as we move, then we have a picture of what the swing plane really could be, should be for the club that we're holding. In this case for driver, it's a long club the lie angle is flatter than it would be with a club like an iron where I would be standing closer and the shaft is shorter. So here the entire circle is going to be relatively flat. We'll say roughly on a 45 degree angle around our body. So if you think about it, we're not swinging directly up and down with a driver. And if you are, that swing plane doesn't match the way the club was designed to be used. So number one, get the right picture in your head of of what the swing plane should be for the club that you're holding. So with driver, we have what I call a floating swing plane. The bottom of the circle doesn't touch the ground, it floats in the air. And if anything, with the ball position more forward in where our stance, we are catching the ball on the upward part of that circle arc. So as I set up here and I get the ball positioned in the front of my stance, I'm picturing my swing swinging out and in the air and catching the ball in the later part of that arc. If you can get your mind around this, take some practice swings and float that plane in the air, you're on your way. If you need a little help getting going, if you still find that you're hitting the ground behind the ball or in front of the ball, start up here with the club out in front of your chest and imagine the swing plane totally horizontal with your posture completely vertical. This would be just an extension of the shaft out in front of us. I'm gonna swing on a circle on this level. Now I just wanna take that feeling and lower my posture maybe halfway and do that a few times and lower a little bit more so you can see and feel the swing plane lowering until it's just above the ground and that's where the golf ball is going to be that's where we want our floating plane to meet this golf ball let's give it a try perfect so float your swing plane, match your swing plane to the club you're using, especially for driver, it's so important. And work on this on the driving range, get a feel for it, then take it out on the golf course. I know you'll be more successful and bomb those drives a little straighter and a little farther as well. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I'll respond to as many as I can.